Welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to move on from the 200 grit stone to 400 and 800. Again, we're going to be looking at what I'm checking when I'm moving from stone to stone. But also today we're going to introduce a uh, hamaguri into this type of sharpening. So about hamaguri or clam shaped or, or convex shaping onto a blade, I get a lot of questions asked about how I do it or how other people do it or how it's done. So I thought today I would kind of go, I would go over how I do it and how I've seen other people do it that I work directly with. So let me explain about what is hamaguri or what is convex. So convex or clam shaped or in Japanese that's hamaguri. Okay, let's take a look and see what Google says. What's the very first thing Google says a convex edge is for on a knife. A convex edge is slightly rounded, hence the name convex, as it tapers off to the finest point of the cutting edge along the blade. The convex edge is considered superior compared to other edge grind types due to longer lasting durability and less drag when cutting. I do think that's a good um, description, a very simple description of convex edge, but how does that translate into sharpening? In my experience and the people that I've worked with that actually use convex edge in their sharpening. People like uh, Moro Hero that I have watched very closely over the years in his sharpening, putting and grinding hamaguri into kitchen knives. I've always seen a very important thing and that's that the convex edge should not be visible to the eye. The only way you can really see it is if you hold the blade up to the light and look for a straight reference point that can reflect across the blade and then you can see the shape of the, of, of the blade, of the convex. The other key thing that I feel about grinding the convex is that I don't find there's any real rule on where it should start or where it, it for the shape of it, but it definitely needs to be very, very subtle. And it needs to be very controlled and very, very fine near to the edge. So that when you are cutting, like the description says, there is no drag, there is no resistance. You don't feel that the shape or the if it's going from flat to convex, you don't see that transition point. It should be very, 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 very subtle. So that's for me the, the key thing that I take away from this type of grind and also what I've personally seen uh, other sharpeners do. So the best way I thought to visually see this and kind of understand what it actually looks like and where the transitions are is on a blade. And just to give a reference and a, a bit of a story about this type of grind, many years ago when I was working with um, Mori Hiro and he was doing a, very, a specific line for Komosuke, he was doing a hamaguri grind on a vintage carbon guto. He had done one area of it in a, on a rough, on a kind of finer stone, going from the spine to about here. And when I looked at the blade, I could see this perfect line, or from the cutting edge into the blade, about four millimeters above, perfectly right across the blade. And when I took a look at that, and I, I said to him, is that the hamaguri edge or is that the, the grind the hamaguri grind he said yeah that's a perfect visual of what it looks like so when i was actually saw that it's something that i tend to actually now use always in my sharpening is that um, when i'm going from a, 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 one stone to the next stone i tend to always visually start across the blade and then to make sure that i do have a really nice clean straight and even Hamaguri. So that's just a visual of, of what I'm looking for and it was really uh, kind of eye-opening for me to see that so clearly on, the, on, on his blade and he's considered one of the best in Japan and he's taught many many people not only in Sakai but all over Japan so to be able to see that was a really great experience for me. So I always hold that in my mind whenever I am doing Hamaguri sharp. This blade is actually a Mahogany Honyaki Gyuto by Tatsuto Yamano. I was looking at the, the shape of it 
and I was not really happy with it. And I thought it could be better, much better than it was. The area, I guess, that is convex was done up to, I think, 1,500 around there. But I went all the way back down to 200. So on this blade, you can actually clearly see the Hamaguri where it is, where it starts. So that's what this blade is. So when I'm sharpening on this blade here, I always remember back to that time with War Hero when I saw that clearly. So the Hamaguri grind or shape can be seen on single bevel and double bevel. Uh, today on this Mizaki blade, we're gonna be going from the Shinogi line flat to Hamaguri. I'm starting this at 400 grit, but I have talked to other people, other sharpeners that will start it at around 1000 grit and even sometimes 3000 grit. Um, and I guess that would depend on how fine or how small the transition from flat to convex was. So we're gonna start on 400 grit today. Other than the hamaguri and grinding in the hamaguri onto this knife, we're also gonna be going changing the scratch direction from 200 grit to 400 grit. The reason I like to do that is just to visually, it's much easier to see that you are fully removing all the scratches from the previous stone. So before we do any sharpening um, on the stones, I thought it'd be a good idea to, to just go over briefly what we're going to actually be doing to this blade. And I thought to show it visually like this would be much easier. So first of all, let's go back to what is convex. So convex is uh, a nice gradual shape or grind all the way from either the spine or your shinogi line all the way to the edge or to where your bevel or micro bevel would be. So on our blade, that would be from here to here or here to here. So this would be a full convex on this shape and what that would look like. But we don't want to be doing that because in order to get this shape on this blade, we would probably have to remove a little bit of steel at the edge and I, we don't really want to do that but what we are going to be doing on this blade is doing what a uh, flat to convex or flat to hamaguri and what that would look like on this particular blade would be starting around the shinogi line or where the kurochi ends right here so we'd be going flat to around four millimeters before the cutting edge and then we would make a nice smooth, soft transition and a nice grind right down to the cutting edge. And this picture obviously is not to scale, just easier to show it this way. So on this blade here, on the blade it would go from around here to here. Then from here make a smooth rounded hamaguri or convex shape right to the cutting edge. So that would be starting from here and go all the way down to about here. And again, this is just our micro bevel, or our bevel, our cutting edge. The reason why I chose to do this on this blade was, one simple reason is that the blade was actually ground pretty much like that. It had a really nice flat area in this, on the blade road from about here to here, about four or five millimeters. And then from there, it went down to a hamaguri shape right to the cutting edge. And there also was a micro bevel on this blade that I saw when before I started um, sharpening it, when I examined it. And the other reason was I really wanted to retain as much heel height or blade height as possible. And doing the convex shape like this would actually cause me to have to remove a little bit of steel to get that shape. So it would be maybe something like this. So we would have to remove some steel to get that shape. There's a few different ways you could approach it. You could raise the Shinogi line more, but, and then try to get the shape. But 
In the end, it's probably best just to go with the way this blade was ground and to get the performance that the maker actually intended for the blade. So that's why I chose flat to convex. So currently we're at 200 grit and what we've done so far is we re raised the shinogi line up because that's what the, the owner wanted to have done to this blade and then we evened out the blade road and we took out any high or low spots we straightened the blade and then we made a flat grind from the shinogi line here all the way to the cutting edge or from here all the way to here and that's where we currently are from 200 grit we're going to move on to 400 grit and at 400 grit that's where we're going to introduce another angle onto the blade road that would eventually become our hamaguri grind or shape and that would look like this on the 400 grit stone so we have the shinogi line here or where the kurochi finishes and that would go to about four millimeters before or before the cutting edge here and from this we would actually soften the shoulder of this new angle or bevel right here to make the hamaguri shape and that would actually look like this so that would look like like this so on the 800 it's going from 400 to 800 we would be actually softening the shoulder and, and smoothing and creating the hamaguri shape and that would be around here again as you can see from here to here and from right here all the way down to the cutting edge here so this shape that we create here from the on the 800 stone would be the the shape that would be basically keeping all the way through the sharpening process up to the um, natural stones it's definitely going to be refined a bit more but this is our basic shape that we would be following from the 800 stone all the way to the natural stones again this can be done in many different ways with many different ratios of where you want the hamaguri to start that really would depend on the blade and the blade quality and how much steel you have on the blade um, there's a few things you really gotta watch though is that i find that a lot of people are not sure what i mean by blend this area together um, it's really has to do with muscle control and controlling the angle that's really the important thing and then you blend this area over without breaking or going over the apex here a lot of times people will go too far over and cause a burr to happen this is not something you want to do because then you're going to end up losing heel height Okay, I just wanted to go over a few things about this blade and the sharpening before we actually do anything on the stones. So what I did up till now is, yeah, we did 200 grit, but on this particular blade currently, I did one side 200 grit and one side 400 grit with cutting in extra bevel angle to create the hamaguri. So just wanted to show you how that looks and how I changed the scratch pattern. So currently on the 200 grit, we're going kind of lengthwise across the blade like this. And as we moved on to the 400 grit stone, we changed the scratch pattern direction. Let's see here. And this is the other side, the 400 grit. And you can see now I changed the scratch pattern direction on the 400 grit. If you remember at 200, we're this way. And at 400, now we're this way. I personally do that because I like, I find that it really helps to be able to clearly see removing the scratch from the 200. And then when we move on to 800, we'll change the direction again. One thing I wanted to point out on the 400 that we did do is we started to cut in another bevel on the blade road so 200 was from the shinogi line straight down to the cutting edge and on the 400 grit on this side we 
went from 400 and we cut in new bevel which are, is going to be the hamaguri which is starting around here about four millimeters to the cutting edge and you can see that all along the edge here and what i did was i just changed the, the scratch direction really s subtle s subtle changes so you could actually see it but it's all the same grit and it's running from the heel all the way to the tip I think you can see it really clearly in this area. So we finished the uh, 400 on this uh, side, as you saw before. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start working on the other side, removing the scratches from the 200 ridge stone and working along the blade road here. Okay, so I just wanted to show that with this uh, digital protractor, just kind of where the angles are at can be really easy to see for some people to understand this. So the zero is set and calibrated at flat, which is the blade road. From the blade road, I go up to where the grind is starting for the hamaguri, which is around here. And then we go back down to flat, which is the blade road. If I let go and press on to the area where the Kurochi is, this is Kurochi. This is the blade road. And this is the where the Hamaguri is around here. So hopefully that can explain kind of where all the angles are at from this perspective. A rough starting point for where you're going to cut in the hamaguri. Hmm. It's, it's something actually I learned from Morihiro. So not changing the angle, but just changing the pressure, putting more pressure in one spot, taking it off another. So on this 200, I just touched the blade road area with the 200 stone. I didn't do the whole thing. But you can see right here where this 400 scratch is going here. That's the 200, but you can see the area that the 400 didn't touch is where I'm going to be putting the hamaguri or the convex shape. It's really difficult to explain. It's just really based on pressure, not changing the angle whatsoever. But it gives an area that you can actually, or gives you more space in that area to actually cut in for the 400 when you actually raise, actually literally raise it and hit the angle for the convex. A little hard to explain, but kind of interesting technique that I perfected on my own, but I learned from Mori Hero many years ago. So we're all finished up with the 400 grit sharpening. NSK Omoro knife 400 grit stone was surprisingly really a nice match with this blade, which is always nice. Some of the key things that I look at before I move on to the next stone, which is going to be the 800 grit stone. One is, of course, that I've removed all the scratches from the previous stone, which is the 200 grit stone. And because we changed the scratch direction from kind of lengthwise to a different angle, that makes it a lot easier to see the scratches that you're removing. 
that's one of the things I look for and on both sides of the blade everything looks great all scratches are removed the next thing is that, that the geometry is where I want it to be for this stage of sharpening and that's also looks looks all good to me so the next process is to move on to the 800 stone a couple other things about I guess that I look for and that I've actually mentioned I think previously in the earlier Funaki series videos you can go back and watch those when I was starting out with the rough sharpening is that I like to see a really nice clean and even scratch pattern from the shinogi line or where the kochi is on this blade straight down to the cutting edge if you look in the light this way and you get a reflection of something that can cast a reflection across the blade you can easily see the the shape of your blade and you can tell if you did a good job at 200 setting that first phase of sharpening of rough sharpening and to me everything looks great so now we're going to move on to the 800 stone and what i'm going to be doing there is i'm going to first uh, change the scratch direction of my work to more lengthwise direction so going across this way and then of course remove the scratches from the 400 stone and as I explained earlier when we we're talking about the uh, hamaguri or convex shapes for this blade um, I'm going to soften the shoulder of the back bevel or, ba or the, the shoulder of the the bevel that I put in for to create the hamaguri and then I'll smooth it all out and then get that shape that I want, which is going to be the shape going moving forward through all the next grits and stones. Just to go over this quickly again before we actually move on to the stones and move on to the 800 grit. So we have here the shinogi line, shinogi line, and then this is where the Amoguri second bevel that I cut into the 400 grit starts here and that is running along here about four millimeters from the edge and then this is the cutting edge after this we're going to move on to the 800 and we're going to smooth out this shoulder right here which is right here and you can see that right here again we're going to smooth out this shoulder which is here and we're going to actually create the hamaguri shape flat to hamaguri when we move on to the next stone which is the 800 grit stone So all the work I finished on the 800 grit stone, so everything is finished, all the scratches are removed from the 400 to the 800. Yeah, I'm just going to go over a few of the points that I'm looking at before we move on to the next stone, which is the 1500. 
on the blade we remove the scratch pattern from 400 and basically what I'm always looking for is that when he scratches from the previous stone which was the 400 is completely removed and also I change the direction of the scratch pattern to uh, lengthwise across the blade and also softened up the area that is now the hamagori or the convex area closer to the edge so now where the blade is flat to convex and everything looks good geometry is nice and everything's set up now to move on to the kind of pre-polishing stage of sharpening which is the 1500 thanks again for watching and uh, supporting our channel we really appreciate it and um, subscribe and we'll see you in the next video